Hello, um, in this mind map, we're going to look at causes of stress as well as pathologic stimuli to cells and uh, mechanisms of cell injury. So let's start off by looking at physiologic stress. Uh, what can cause stress to the cell? First of all, uh, demand. So changes in demand, whether it is increased or decreased. For example, um, if the patient has got hypertension, the left ventricle has to pump a uh, against higher pressure, so there's increased work demand, and there may be adaptation like hypertrophy. There can also be changes in metabolic demand. Um, in addition, uh, hormonal stimulation is important, and this is uh, in terms of growth factors or various types of hormones, and again, it can be increased or decreased, and this can affect uh, adaptation, cause adapta uh, adaptive responses, as well as potentially even apoptosis. Um, aging and nutritional status are also important factors giving rise to cell adaptations. Now, in terms of pathologic stimuli, uh, there are many categories of stimuli. Um, one a very important uh, stressor to the cells would be hypoxia. So this is decreased oxygen supply. And this can be due to a number of causes. For example, decreased blood supply like ischemia, cardiorespiratory failure, um, as well as decreased oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Say if there are problems with hemoglobin or um, for example if there's carboxy hemoglobin with carbon monoxide poisoning. Another important uh, cause of injury would be physical agents and uh, this includes all these um, factors that are listed here, mechanical trauma, extremes of temperature, hot and cold, sudden change in atmospheric pressure, radiation, and uh, even in electric shock. The next um, main category would be biological agents, such as all the infectious agents that we know. Um, and then, of course, chemicals, chemical agents, drugs, uh, toxins, even sometimes um, drugs that are used to treat diseases can give rise to cell injury and cell death, such as chemotherapeutic drugs. Next, certain genetic derangements can also make cells very prone to injury and death. For example, in sickle cell anemia, uh, this actually reduces the lifespan of the red blood cells uh, to much less than normal. Even immunological reactions can also give rise to cell injury. Uh, and this is sometimes seen in autoimmune diseases where we have our immune system attacking the body's own antigens and own, own tissues. Uh, lastly, metabolic and nutritional imbalance can also give rise to cell injury and ultimately cell death. Now, knowing all the causes, um, what are some of the actual mechanisms of cell injury? So it is a very complex process and we could break it down by looking at several main areas. A very important uh, feature is membrane damage. And we must remember that membranes are not just in terms of the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. There is, of course, also the lysosomal membranes within the cells themselves, within the cytoplasm, and mitochondrial membranes. So these membranes are responsible for the integrity of the cell to prevent things from leaking out or coming in. Um, and also mitochondria are a very important uh, part of energy production in the cell. So if any of these are damaged, some of the vital cellular functions can be compromised. Another very important uh, part of the mechanism of cell injury is ATP depletion. Uh, now, ATP is uh, responsible for making sure the cell has enough energy to perform its functions, active functions, and um, if there is depletion, uh, basically, a lot of cellular functions will be affected and this can ultimately give rise to uh, death of the cell. Another important mechanism is the influx or the increase in intracellular calcium. So once there is cell calcium within the cell, uh, what it can do is that it can activate cellular enzymes and cause damage to the cell organelles and it can also um, damage mitochondrial membrane by increasing the membrane permeability. And uh, finally, also an increase in reactive oxygen species, ROS. This can ultimately lead to uh, damage of the nuclear material, the DNA, as well as the protein in the cells, which forms a very important part of the cytoskeleton. Now, there are certain types uh, of the causes you can see here that are more prone to specific mechanisms of cell injury. 
For example, uh, in membrane damage, it's often seen in biological agents as well as chemical or toxic agents. Uh, depletion of ATP itself can also give rise uh, to membrane damage. Some of the causes that can deplete ATP include hypoxia, so oxygen deprivation, um, as well as chemical toxins. And a whole variety of uh, causes can give rise to influx in intracellular calcium or increase in intracellular calcium. Um, and for reactive oxygen species, these can be these have been linked. Reactive oxygen species have been linked to radiation uh, injury as well as chemical injury, and uh, specific forms of injury such as ischemia, reperfusion injury, which you can read about in Robbins, and even in aging. So what are the factors that can push a cell that is injured into irreversible injury and cell death? Um, some of the important uh, factors affecting this transition would be the nature of the injury itself. So for example, the type of injury, of course the severity of injury and the duration of exposure to the injury. Cell type is also important in terms of adaptivity. Uh, some cells are more able to withstand injury than others. And uh, the nutritional state of the cells and tissues, as well as certain inbuilt genetic variations in cells uh, are important. Uh, for example, some people actually do possess enzymes uh, to metabolize certain toxins and this can affect the effect of the toxin on the cell. So here we've looked at some of the main causes just in general of physiologic stress which can give rise to adaptation or sometimes even certain types of cell death like apoptosis which we will look at later. Uh, we've also looked at the main categories of pathologic stimuli. Uh, you can see a whole range here and how these ultimately uh, lead to uh, specific mechanisms of cell injury involving membrane damage, ATP depletion, increased intracellular calcium and increased reactive oxygen species. So certain types of causes are more linked with specific mechanisms of cell injury. And we've also looked at the factors uh, that affect how badly the cell reacts to injury. And the next thing that we're going to look at is some of the morphological features of cell injury as well as cell death.